Well, hope you all had an amazing Tuesday. It was another beautiful day up and down the Grand Strand, taking a live look over at the beautiful Ravenel Bridge in the distance. You really could not ask for a better evening, to say the least. The weather has just been absolutely incredible. Taking a live look at the Doppler radar, there is not a single rain shower in sight, and that is all thanks to high pressure and full control over the southeastern United States, forcing whatever is out there to sink, not allowing anything to evaporate. That's why no clouds are being formed and no rain or storms are being formed. So whenever high pressure is in control look for amazing weather and that is exactly what we are dealing with overnight tonight temperatures will be falling into the lower 50s as you head further inland mid to upper 50s maybe even a few low 60s right along the immediate coastline so a very mild and calm night to say the least your bus stop forecast as you were heading out to school tomorrow morning temperatures a little chilly starting out in the mid 50s under abundant sunshine as you were heading home from work or from school though those temperatures will be warming up into the lower 80s a few fair weather cumulus clouds are possible for your afternoon, but still amazing weather to say the least. On the weather map, once again, high pressure in full control over the southeastern United States of America. And me and Chief Meteorologist Bill Walsh are calling this the Dome of Delight. Sunny, warm, just an incredible weather pattern to be in, to say the least. Your afternoon highs for your day tomorrow, mid to upper 70s as you head further inland, upper 70s to even lower 80s right along the immediate coastline. It is hard to think about temperatures being in the 80s for this time of year, but with high pressure in control, that is exactly what we are dealing with. So abundant sunshine and amazing weather is in that forecast for the middle half of the work week. In the tropics, Hurricane Tammy is a 75 mile per hour hurricane. It will gradually weaken to a remnant low as we head into the end of this weekend and also into the weekend as well. I know forecast models show it coming a little bit further westward, but I'm not expecting the system to come anywhere close to the United States, so this is no threat to us at all. And then otherwise, we have Tropical Depression 21, which is currently bringing a lot of rainfall to Central America. Thankfully, the system is heading nowhere close to the United States at all. And then in, in, uh, just further west of that, we have Hurricane Otis, a major Category 3 hurricane with 115 mile per hour winds. This hurricane went, something that we call, went um, under something that we call rapid intensification and may even get to a category four hurricane before making landfall in Mexico. So it is a very good thing that this massive hurricane is staying very far away from the United States, not coming anywhere close to our area. 80s are expected for the whole entire week. Maybe we may even get to the mid 80s as we head into your Sunday and also into the start of next week, which is great considering we have Halloween on Tuesday and we even have the fair coming the day after tomorrow. Amazing weather is in store really over the next seven to 10 days. I hope you all have an amazing Wednesday.